because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted, and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be. The world awaits to receive you. Bitch, I'm back. I'm popular the man. Yes, who's back? Yes, yes, yes. You see, I, I came in a le little less aggy this year. This is the other um, story that I was talking about, where we go into officer shooting a shoot driver during traffic stop in DeKalb County. Now, this is not typical, and the reason why I'm showing this, because even though we have a lot of violence and things going on, this is just telling me that the escalation of violence in Atlanta is taking place, and Newark is here. Demon time and the gangs are here. I grew up in Newark. I already know what to expect. I got Haitian roots. I know where roughness is coming. And when you have police shooting drivers and it's starting to escalate it like that, that means you have more fear amongst the police, more hard criminals coming where these police feeling like this and not being able to handle them. And now this shit is going to start going down because you don't hear a lot of police shooting in, in Atlanta, but we're starting to see that. Because they're not trained. They're not trained for these crazy-ass people that's coming here. They're not. I mean, even though the other police are not, these country-ass police is not. I'm just be keeping it real. County right now, the GBI is investigating after a Shambly police officer shot a man in a suspected stolen SUV. See? This happened in the parking lot of a Walgreens on Peachtree Boulevard. 11 Alive's Kira's Belger has the latest. Well, right now, this investigation is still very much in the early stages. In fact, there is still crime scene tape in the parking lot just behind me. And I, we have learned a little bit from the police chief. Here's what we've been able to learn so far. As I mentioned, still in the very early stages. And according to Shambly Police Chief Michael Dieppa, officers pulled over an SUV car they believe was stolen. This all took place just after 740 in the morning. Now, at one point during the traffic stop, one of the officers pulled out his weapon and shot the man who was in the car that person was taken to Grady and is in stable condition condition meanwhile officers have been collecting evidence for the last few hours and what exactly happened right before that shooting is still under investigation let's stop because you already knew if he had a gun that would have been the first thing he said he had a gun the officer feared for his life he didn't say that so let's finish the list. I just want y'all to highlight the details. But there were a few details we were able to learn from the Shambly police chief. Subject is driving the, the vehicle that's not a police vehicle behind me, uh, and it came to rest there. So a second police vehicle did go to the front of it and stop. But the uh, at that time, the shooting had happened, had already happened. And that's just where um, our, our vehicle stopped. Now, we understand that the per that the officer is being placed on administrative leave. That is according to department policy. The GBI is currently taking over this investigation. They are looking at the crime scene as we speak. As I mentioned, this is very much still in the early stages. I'm going to continue to... Let's stop right here. Now, they put him on administrative leave because something was done out of pocket. Now, I'm not going to just get on the officers about this because specifically, I know that there's a fear that's starting to show itself in Atlanta, in Georgia. I, let me just break down my perspective of what's going on. When I first moved here to Atlanta, coming here from Jersey, where the, the, the dirty Jersey, born in Brooklyn, seeing hard stuff, it is what it is, we very direct. I had to tone down a whole lot in my approach, things that I said, because people became very offended. Now, I would not say that this particular area was a goody-goody type of area. There is an undertone. Racism is still here. Hate is still here. But they do not show their hate hatred a lot through Pacific acts. They were overtly, in Georgia, what I have seen is overt hate and racism. So a lot of people play possum and they not like <clears throat> just punch you in the face, okay? So when it comes to controversy, they go through the path of least resistance. Let's just make this make sense. So now you have these original type of people that's here, but they still got their underlying snake shit. 
Now, I'm just keeping it real. But then you got the thugs and some criminals and other fast-going North people from the North coming up here. Flooding this area. We're increasing the economy, which is good. But we're bringing violence and we're bringing other types of lifestyle that these motherfuckers ain't used to or don't know what to do. Okay, well, that's what I told you. Even in Fulton County, I do not believe that they are equipped to even deal with the gangs that they have in there or house them. They don't even have them separated right. They're straight stabbing each other, all types of stuff. This shows you that they're not equipped with the population that's coming. Looking at the particular officer, and I'm not just, I'm not saying he's slow. Shut the hell up, Lashley. Look at his face. I want y'all to be able to read souls a little bit. Damn it. Just read it just a little bit. Look at him. Now, I ain't saying that he's a sweet guy, he's innocent, but he has something within him that's a little bit naively slow or something. Ugh. So you see how he talked and he was a little confused about the way he explained stuff? The shit like that happened all the time up here. They would literally make shit up as they go and then because it's a good old boy system, they get away with it. Shit like that can't really happen nowadays that we have fast people northerns like me up here. But and still, this is what's happening. They're not able to control the new environment. They don't even know how to handle it. So this particular officer, in my opinion, I don't know what happened, but I'm thinking that he did act out of pocket. He may have acted out of fear. A situation happened similar to Jersey Drive with these stolen cars because it's new. What the fuck we supposed to do? But he don't understand that car thieves, they don't usually keep guns on them a lot. But since this is an open carry state, you don't know. In the different situation in Jersey with New Jersey Drive where those young boys was killed, there's literally a van it was a vendetta against them from the police because they were just literally stealing cars and joy riding. And now they're doing the same thing, bring it up here, i.e. Kia boys that went a trend on TikTok. Yes. Grace Levi know about everything. I got them damn young adults and they ain't about to do no stupid shit. So I'm I I was drifting in his car. Oh my god, you know you about to be in trouble. Why the fuck you tell me that you was drifting? The fuck? Moving forward. Now, this is brought to you, um, just another episode moving out of Atlanta News. Hold on, hold on. No, let's just finish off Atlanta News. I know we're talking about police, but Atlanta, a little good side to Atlanta. Atlanta Public School pushes to increase enrollments for adults. We already know that the education system ain't on sh and when you listen to the YSL case, they made they made the made the education system in Atlanta seem like it's just making trash and bones. Okay, he had the, everybody feeling bad for him, talking about I never had hope, I never saw anybody who made it around me. So now they are pushing for more educational programs. I'm not saying that's related to the YSL trial, but I just want to say at least they're trying to do something. Fannie William Trump Trump election case is next. Ooh, oh shit. Let me not play that again, y'all. That's probably another one. Morning, a program through the Atlanta public school system has become life-changing for over 300 adults. Good job. The program is teaching non-English speakers, retirees, and parents who had life get in the way of learning. APS wants to expand it and increase enrollment to 1,000 people. The program provides assistance with housing, utilities, and food, all while preparing them to get their GED or high school equivalency diploma. The APS interim superintendent says grads are better able to take care of themselves and their families. It's, what a great program. Yeah, wonderful program there. Look. Yeah, that is really nice, and I appreciate them for spending a little bit money on the people. So shout out to the 300 people who are going to be able to, um, let me see what this is about. I'm just pressing pause, who will be able to actually attend this program because if you don't know about it, you won't be able to do it. So we're just going to keep it real. Shout out to Atlanta for doing at least something good because the ignorance level out here is on fucking a thousand. I'm going to save this Fanny um, clip because y'all see me. I got it. I'm like, ooh, Fanny, Williams, let's get her ass again. We're going to get a little bit into that Trump thing one day, but not right now because that's not part of our timeline. But ooh, she caught my eye. Oh, baby. So um, let's talk about cops going wrong outside of Atlanta. We always going to talk about that as well. Body cam SWAT raids wrong Ohio house sending one year old to the hospital. This is what to you by law and crime. We will not watch the whole thing. But this highlights that our cops need a reform and a better system. This is not the first time where, cop where wrong houses is being fucking raided. This is not the first time. They can't realize when they don't have the right house. And then for a baby to be hospitalized, the fuck is going on? These, these, they acting like the devil. 
Let me find out that they got a little devil worshiping statue inside the police department or obelisk. I'm gonna just shut the hell up because they act a little crazy. <laughs> Picture. Let's, this is them getting ready. Yeah. I'm gonna let y'all watch it. Oh, Tory therapist might call. He's in there being sat and breathing. So I'm gonna. Yeah. Does he typically do that behavior when he's. Yeah. He's in the hospital for a year. Look at this. Okay. And we're like the lot was on his head. The baby is on a ventilator. Okay? This baby is on a ventilator, and these are one of the type of babies that I used to take care of when I used to take care of a vent and trait babies that were home. If I was there and the police and I ran into our damn house, like this, these baby house like this, this would be astonishing. Holding them up, she probably needs to suction the baby, and they won't even let her. This is crazy. <laughs> So now she has to give the medics report because they don't know what to do. Just because they medics don't mean they're going to know what to do. You got she giving them report about the baby and they don't even belong in this house. Okay. I'm a little peed off about this particular situation, especially since it involves a vent and trach baby. These motherfuckers need to go to jail. It's glass or something up here. They broke glass inside our house. Yeah, they broke glass inside our house. 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 They we're going to leave this right here. I just want to see you show you cops that going rogue. This really made me feel some type of way. Um, hopefully, I get an update on this particular situation because I already know that they're going to sue. And um, I, I, I pray that everything went well with this baby because they have a short expectancy, life expectancy plan, especially when things go wrong. If you're not constantly suctioning them, make sure they're at the right angle, not um, choking off of their G2 feeding. And fucking cops and them threw something. Y'all saw the glass? Did y'all see the glass on top of that fucking... Excuse my language. I'm OCD, especially with patient care and babies. Okay, I didn't know that was going to trigger me. It triggered me number two. You thought you got me, devil? Not today. I told I told them I'm going to have a way better tone in 2028. I ain't going to sound like a murder. I'm going to be calm. Now, let's get into another topic. We're going to get into migrant news. Guess where the migrants none hit? Big baby. Not only did they hit New York, they hit Jersey as well, okay? And before we show you that, we're going to take a little break and give you a word from our sponsors. Just something quick. <laughs> forget to join us on nurses to nurses news network where you can catch nurse slash fix The real estate market often seems like a distant world where only an elite of experts is successful. In a time of so much uncertainty in the air and bad news, realist investing can seem intimidating. But today, I want to tell you that if you make the right decision today, you can enter the real estate market from the back door. Bad credit record? No credit at all. Do you dread the idea of having a home loan? Do you dream of owning investment properties? You are in the right place and right time because we have created a program which is a tax lien and deed investment online course of only 14 hours. This course is specially designed for people like you who have big dreams. You will learn at your own pace and everything from your home computer. This is your chance. Join our membership for $19.99 a year. What are you waiting for? Visit our website primetimehomebuyerbuyback.org and sign up today for course access.